This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Priorities. A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. This happens far more often than we may at first think. How does it happen? It happens any and every time Jesus invites us to share in his grace and we find ourselves too busy or occupied with other more important things. Take, for example, how easy it is for many to intentionally miss Sunday Mass. There are countless excuses and rationalizations that people use to justify missing Mass on occasion. In this parable above, the scripture goes on to speak of three people who excuse themselves from the feast for a good reason. One just bought a field and had to examine it. One just bought some oxen and had to go care for them. And another just got married and had to be with his wife. All three had what they thought were good excuses and thus failed to come to the feast. The feast is the kingdom of heaven. But it's also any way that you are invited to participate in God's grace. Sunday Mass, moments of daily prayer, the Bible study you should join, the mission talk you should attend, the book you should read, or the act of charity that God wants you to perform. Every way that grace is offered to you is a way in which you are invited to the feast of God. Sadly, it's very easy for some to come up with an excuse for denying the invitation of Christ to share in his grace. Reflect today upon God coming to you and inviting you to share more fully in his life of grace. How is he inviting you? In what way are you being invited to this fuller participation? Do not make excuses. Answer the invitation and enter into the feast. Let us pray. Lord, help me to see the numerous ways in which you call me to share more fully in your life of grace and mercy. Help me to recognize the feast that is prepared for me and help me to always make you the priority in my life. Jesus, I trust in you.